Thank you. Please be seated. It's, it's a privilege to, to stand here and speak uh, in a panel of gender balance, 50% men and 50% women. And, uh, and it's also a privilege to hear what Dr. Sinus mentioned, uh, ministers should be ministers for health. Unfortunately, I would like to add one thing. Ministers for Health should be also IT literate, so that we don't find problems like we find it today. Your Excellencies, members of the Sixth Constitutional Government, Your Excellencies, Ministers of Health from Member States of WHO Southeast Asia region, Your Excellencies, Head of Delegations, distinguished representatives from member states of WHO, Southeast Asia region, Excellencies, Ambassadors, Dr. Hans Chortzen, Assistant Director General, World Health Organization, Dr. Kunam Singh, the Regional Director of Southeast Asia region, Head of UN Agencies, representatives from Timor-Leste Development Partners, special acknowledgement to former Minister of Health, Dr. Sergio Lobo. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Timor-Leste. I'm very pleased here to inaugurate the 68th session of the World Health Organization Regional Committee for Southeast Asia. This is the first time this prestigious committee is meeting in Timor-Leste since we became a member of the World Health Organization in 2002. I remember representing Timor-Leste when we became the 192nd member of state of WHO and even voting for WHO regional directorship a year later. I'm very proud that 13 years on, Timor-Leste is able to host this meeting in our country with nine health ministers of WHO Southeast Asia region with their delegations to actively engage in talks and in productive discussions over the next five years. You will set the health priorities as well as the health agenda for our region. A tremendous task that will affect the lives of millions of people. Good health is paramount for the people of Timor-Leste and a priority for my government. And I'm sure you wish the same to your people. The strength of our peoples and of our nations depends on some of the discussions we will be making collectively here. Because these regional meetings present opportunities for the member countries to contribute towards the direction of the WHO at the regional level. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Timor-Leste attaches great importance to the contributions made by the international community to our health sector, but also to our overall development journey towards future prosperity. Timor-Leste ratified the Framework Convention on Tobacco Control in 2004, and domestically, we finally started to take concrete steps towards tobacco control and consumption in Timor-Leste. We are actively engaged in an anti-tobacco national campaign that is starting to get the message across to our people. We are receiving messages from schools in remote areas such as Bagheer, for those who know it, in the east, eastern region of the country, saying that teachers are no longer smoking inside the classroom. In June, the Public Service Commission issued a decision 
prohibiting smoking in all public working environments. In this regard, I also congratulate the UN resident coordinator, Mr. Knut Otsby, and WHO representative, Dr. Rajesh Pandav, for making the United Nations compound in Timor-Leste a tobacco-free zone. These are all positive steps we are taking in Timor-Leste. But the implementation of the framework for control agreement needs to be accelerated. Timor-Leste has one of the highest tobacco consumption rates in the world, with over 70% of Timorese men using tobacco. This is a tragic and unacceptable figure for the type of prosperous nation we strive to become, particularly coming from a former smoker too. Tobacco is present on our streets, it is in our homes, it is advertised on our kiosks, and it is present in our schools. As a party to the WHO's Framework Convention for Tobacco Control, Timor-Leste must adopt comprehensive tobacco control laws, including the prohibition of illicit trade in tobacco products. I am happy to share with you that the decree law that will allow us to take concrete legal and policy measures to control tobacco consumption and sales in Timor-Leste is circulating within the government for comments prior to being tabled at the Council of Ministers meeting for approval. I will make sure this will happen shortly so that we can put a halt to Timor-Leste being exploited through weak legislation. I understand that the FCTC is on the agenda of this regional committee and will be discussed. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, when I took the helm of this sixth government and during my many interventions so far, I often close with the motto, um por todos e todos por um, meaning one for all and all for one. It is my strong belief that we can do better by working together. And I am encouraged to see so many of our regional health leaders in one room to discuss how we can keep our region prosperous and healthy. I would like to once again thank the honorable ministers and distinguished delegates from Bangladesh, Bhutan, Democratic People's Republic of Korea, India, Indonesia, Maldives, Myanmar, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Thailand, and of course, Timor-Leste, here, present, for coming. And I look forward to positive and constructive deliberations that will benefit us all. I wish you a memorable stay in Delhi, and if you have any time, please visit other parts of our amazing Timor-Leste. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I hereby declare then the 68th session of the WHO Regional Committee for Southeast Asia open. Thank you very much.